to another amazing day at fmtraining.tv. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hello, everybody. Good to see you all. Uh, we are back to our usual stuff here. Uh, I am here with the wonderful Nick Hunter, who has returned to continue his really cool series about modernizing a file live for us in stream, which is awesome. Uh, so let's look at the schedule real fast. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so we are doing the next few days. We'll be continuing our existing FileMaker file design and modernization workshop. So we'll be continuing that. It'll be really quite cool. We've, I've heard a lot of, we've had a lot of good feedback on that series. Uh, Thursday, Leland Lawn will be showing back up for to discuss Curl, which should be interesting. Friday will be uh, what's new in the Monkey Bread plugin 13.2 release. If you've got questions, bring them then. And then Monday, we'll be continuing this series going forward. So basically, for the foreseeable future, this series will be in, in, uh, continuing onward. If you have questions, comments, feel free to toss it to us. Okay. I think we're good, Nick. Nick, what Okay, are we doing today? thank you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Every Hello, Marge. Uh, I'm very glad to be back. It's been quite a while that I've been uh, off the the screen <laughs> so thank you everybody for joining today so uh, ken is not with us today so he apologized but he couldn't make it because he had some obligation and uh so and uh we understand tomorrow right so so yes i'm back so now i'm back on my new home i mean my new home is always be the home in the family but that's my new home for some time and uh, so I'm you know, the other side of the planet, and uh, I'm now the head uh, of you guys, uh, which is cool. And um, and so today um, we are going to uh, continue our series for modern, like you said, you know, for modernizing the Ken's files, right? So we are going to continue, but we are going to do something with him, but without him today. So since he's not there, we we're going to to do things that we do, you know that we don't need him, right? So today we're going to do something interesting. So first, uh, is everything okay uh, with the connection? Because I have a, a internet. Yes, I want to know if everything okay. Uh, um, it's it's mostly okay. It's uh. Yeah, my video, yeah, like my you videos. cut out, like sometimes, like the like it lags a little. So okay, yeah, okay, okay. I can, uh, you know, I, I will anyway. I will stop my camera a while. Yeah, because I'm doing something with FileMaker here, so it's, uh, you know, I'm loading everything. Ah, so. that makes sense. Yeah. You want to share your yeah. screen? Yeah, well, yeah, okay, I'm going to share my screen here. So, um, so what we're we going to do today? We're going to um, uh, create the document section. Right uh, in that layout. So, so we 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 saw that uh, this file has some documents, right? So if I remember uh, well, they are somewhere here. Yeah, pilot documents. So we have we have many documents here. We have those documents, right? Uh, so and as you can see, we have uh, many containers. So we have documents. They are in a table, right? But they are all uh, each one has its uh, container, right? So we have many containers here. Uh, container file, we have, you know, let's, uh, you know, we have all those containers, right? So we have multiple containers where we have files inside. So uh, this is not the best practice when we need to use our, our okay? So especially when you have document, when you have a, are different type of documents. So, because that means if you have many, many types of document, different documents, right? Uh, that means you have, you need to create as many containers as documents, right? A type. So, and that's uh, prevent you to, you know, to, to get easy backups, right? And, um, and it spread everything in the so in in your in your solution, and so this is not really the best practice for that type of uh, design, right? So that type of of uh, use, when you have many many document types, right? What you want is to have 
one document table, one doc table, right? And inside that table, one container, and that will receive all the documents we need, right? So here, uh, so we are going to do that, right? So we're going to do um, the same. We are, we are going to build this. Right? So here we have this, um, you know, we have this uh, design here from Ken. So we're going to, because he has uh, many, uh, he has this pile of documents. And I think we have the, the balloon document somewhere. Uh, it should be there. Yes. Yeah. See, we have containers for the balloon, right? And we have containers from the pilots, right? So we, you see, we have two tables, right? And we have um, mul multiple containers where we drag things inside, right? Or we, we import things inside, right? So this is not the best practice to do that, right? So we need to, um, we need to. Uh, rationalize this and we need to narrow down the number of of, of uh, fields. So we are going to use records instead of fields, right? So so what we do, so I'm going to build it in front of you, then you can see. What, so we, I'm going to borrow a document table that I have here, right? So I'm going to borrow this, right? So, um, but pretty much I don't want to borrow everything. Right, so I'm going to create right a table here that I'm going to to name documents. Right, so I'm going to build this. I'm going to create a table where inside that table we have all the documents. Okay, so this table we are going to name it doc, you know, documents. Right, so this is the name of the table. So why we want the table for the documents, right? Because when you have one unique table for all your documents, that means in the relationship map, I will be able to build my own world for the documents, right? So all the documents will be in one place and I will have one table and I will have one place in the relationship, one world, you know, like this anchor buoy dedicated for the, for the documents. So everything will be extremely simpler, right? So now that I have this table here, right? So I'm going to get rid of uh, all those um, things here. So how does the speed is okay? Yeah, my, my, my screen is shared well. Your screen is sharing, it's going well. It's okay. not lagging at all, so we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I will get, I have a 4G connection right now, but I will get a 5G connection pretty soon. Got it. So that yeah, yeah, that yeah, I, I would have like uh, two hundred fifty or three hundred uh, megabytes, so that would be good. But uh, that what I have now is sufficient for what I'm doing. So now that I have the document table created, I'm going to to come in that file. I have a file. I already built everything, so I'm, I don't want to, you know. So I'm going to copy some fields that I need here, right? So this I need definitely. I need. Um, I need the, the transfer, I need the trigger, I need, uh, you know, many, many things that uh, I can just uh, borrow, right? So I'm going to, of course, copy the container, copy this, copy this, uh, the file date, the file extension, the file info, no, I don't need that, the file name, file size, file size converted. The file thumbnail, the file type I don't need. Uh, what do I need? Um, that's it. Uh, I don't need all of this. I don't need 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 this. Uh, maybe the title. So I'm going to uh, copy those fields, right? I'm going to copy those fields, right? And I'm going to paste this here in that document table that I just created, right? Document, where's the document table? Oh, at the end. So let's uh, put that table name, field name, okay. So I'm going to paste this here, okay? So here we have um, 
so the 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 traditional you know the regular field you know we have an id you know a uuid for the documents right for each each document will be will 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 get its own primary key right primary primary id um this is for the relationship this two i'm going to use that later and here what is what is in it's interesting to you know to learn things right so let's start with the basic so this is a file container right so we have a container right uh where we, we we're going to put all the each document will come inside that container that unique container right all of them and then we have you can see here file date file extension file okay so we need th those information that we're going to I'm going to explain here are coming out from our function that we have that is named the get um, uh, where is this here the get container attributes right so this is interesting because uh, this is where you can get many information out of your container right but i want to explain this so i'm going to uh, validate this we are going to go to the we're going to go to the help the pharmacy help right and I'm, we are going to inspect what this is what doing this um, get container attribute stuff right so we go in there and uh, we're going to inspect this get container attributes work exactly like the get layer object attributes. So it's it's based on the same principle, okay? You point the field, you point the, the container field you want to, uh, the function to, to get info, right? And then you have an attribute, okay? And the attribute name works exactly like the get layout object attribute, right? It's, it's, it works the same. So you get you can get the file name, the MD5, which is really, really important, the MD5, storage type, file size, internal size, external size, right? So uh, this is this is good when we have our, our external uh, you know container, you know, when they are stored externally, right? Um, and uh, this is where you have the file reference, but nobody used that anymore. Then you can have that is okay. That general they call that general attributes, right? So let's let's work on this for a moment, right? So our I don't know if we have our, some uh, data here. We, yeah, we we just have this, right? Yeah. Okay. So never mind. we we can use this, you know. So let's paste this. Okay. So how that works, okay? For example, I want the file name of that, you know, uh, field, uh, that photo that I have inside, right? So you get here, you said, okay, get uh, container attributes. You point to the, uh, okay, no. Let's pick, pick back, right? And here you put the attribute like this. Okay, so you put the attribute name within quotes, right? So you point to the field, and then you have the file name. And this is the file name you have inside, right? Then you have all those um, attributes here. So you can have, it's embedded, that the storage type. So you can see, you know, if, if it's embedded or if it's uh, external, right? For now, this the storage type is in it's embedded, right? Uh, you have the file size, which is cool because that helps you to get uh, the size, you know, of a file. You can see, okay, oh, this file is giant, right? So you can measure. You can have, for example, when you you can have a found set, for example, and out of the found set, you can say, okay, oh, that found set, the total size of that found set of, of those records are that the size you know you can do that right so and I'm, we, are, we are going to we are going to do that right um and then here 
you have all the types of uh, attributes, right? So here, if you said, uh, if you type here general, right? It's here in the help, uh, so I, I, it works. You have the general because it's not at all well explained. You know, it's not at all intuitive what they did in the help, so I'm going to explain to you. This is the, those, those attributes are parts of a group named general. So you can get one, you can, you can get them one by one, right? Or you can say, I want all of them at once, right? And then you have all of them. So you have the file name, storage type, the MD5, the file size, the internal size, the external size, external files. Okay, so you have all those in one group. Same with the images. You can have all the images, but here it's not working because that file is not an image, but it's a photo, okay? So why do why are you doing this? Uh, it shouldn't have worked, but it's okay. Okay, so I don't know why it's not working here. The photo, uh, I should have, uh, I should have get all of them. So you have all the attributes, right? So the general, you can copy general. You have all of them. Images, you should have do do the same thing. I don't know why it's, it's not doing it. Uh, did I do wrong? No, I don't know. Image, image. Yeah. Okay. So, so you need to do. You need to remove the S of image. Right, oh, another weird stuff from FileMaker, right? So you can type images and you have all the width, the height, the DPI, and the transparency, pretty much all of them. But you can pick one of the container attributes and say, okay, I want the height, you know, or I want the, the width, okay, of the, of the image, right? And then you have the photo information that the image information which you know and then you have the photo information it pretty much read the meta the meta metadata okay meta metadata so the, the pretty much the created modify latitude longitude make model if you have one right so if you take from an iphone for example you take a picture from an iphone you have the latitude longitude make model you will have it orientation creation right so you have information but you can on the same thing say okay oh i want the created for example created right boom you can pick one attribute at a time okay same for audio same for bar barcodes same for signature same for groups right so uh so you have all of those attributes you know, um, available to you and to do whatever you want with it, right? So this is interesting because I'm using this mainly for to get, if I go back to my, to my document table, document table. So I get the file name, the file name, I get it with this, right? I get a file name uh, and I get the file size, of course, right? I'm getting the file size and the file thumbnail, but the thumbnail have a get thumbnail uh, function, right? So what the get thumbnail function is doing is taking whatever photo you have in the container and convert it and reduce it in a smaller version, right? It is making a, a, a smaller version. So the thumbnail gets thumbnail. You say you point to the field you want, and you say the width and the height of the file. Of course, it keeps the proportion, OK, when you do that. So if I want a 200 pixel by 200 pixel, right? Uh, so to have a small version, uh, like a, like a, you know, like a, um, 
is the thumbnail link. So, and so that when you want to display some small version, right? You use this. You don't display the container full size and ask FileMaker to reduce it, right? You build, you, you get automatically when you drag, when you insert a photo inside the container, the main container, you know, this one, automatically we generate a, 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 a small version of it. So this, I'm going to make a demonstration on this, right? So, so this is the, so now you get the advantage, right? Of why it is good to get one place, one table where you get all the documents because now you can get all those information out of my container and not having uh, 10 times the same get size, get, you know, because if I use that table, uh, so pretty much here I need some. Sharing it, I need uh, one size for this one, one size for this one, one size for this one, one size for this one. So you have all those fields, right? And the field name and the and the file name and the everything, right? So everything I want, right? So that's why the one document table is great. So let's go to the document table here, document layout. And let's make a demo. So here I have the thumbnail, right? And here I have the, the main container. So if I'm going to the balloon documents, and I'm going to use that, uh, where's the balloon document? Okay, or pilot document, whatever. So I'm going there, I'm going to copy that Fiesta stuff, and I'm going to paste it inside that container. So automatically everything will go will come, right? So I'm, boom. So I have, right, I have all the information coming, the file name, the size, file date, uh, the extension, right? And I have a small version of it. So this is a small version, right? So if I do like this, I have a big version of it and a big version of it. So if I do here, I'm going there, and I say, yeah, reduce and reduce. So if I do this, you will see you have a difference of size, uh, but it's so small, you don't have a difference. Uh, this version here is much smaller, so we can test it, okay? So I can test this, okay? We go there and say, okay, I want to get container attributes, I want to compare, right? The file container, and here it's file size. And if I uh, uh, 34, 34K, okay? And if I'm going there and I'm pointing to the thumbnail, yeah, it's the same. Because it's so small, so let, let's make a smaller version of the of the stem just for the demo, right? Uh, because the, the, the the file I'm using is so small, but I can I can do that. Let's say I want a smaller one, so I want a 50 to 50, okay? So that will be a very small one, right? So yeah, I don't have photo in that computer. It's a brand new. I just installed it, so I don't have any photos. Um, or I could have take the photo I have here, yeah. So let's take the photo of my favorite beach. Uh, so let's take this photo. Boom! See, I have a small version of it, right? So now we can see we have a we have a small version, right? So of course, the size. So if I, I want to do the same demo, I want to do here, right? To uh, get uh, and, and I'm going to ask for the file size. It's 80K, right? And if I'm looking uh, for this, right? this is 2K, okay? 
So uh, we have a very different uh, of size, right? So that is, but normally I don't get a, a, a that small thumbnail, right? So the, the best size for the thumbnail is 200 by 200. Uh, that gives you uh, a, a, a good quality of thumbnail, but being small, right? Being smaller. So I don't know if you have any question. I have, a, I have a Discord now installed here. We don't have any question. Not no? at okay. the moment. Okay. So I can, uh, you know, re repeat this and put the, the thumbnail and stuff like this here. Okay. So here you have the small and the big version, right? So we have two versions. Automatically, it builds it because we have an auto entry calculation here in the container. Says it gets the of the file you put in the container, right? And it resizes it to 200 by 200, keeping the proportion, okay? It's not doing, it's not making the, the photo square, where right? you keep the, the proportion, right? So it is important to know <clears throat> what the file is, right? So we have, we can extract this MD5, I'm going to come on this in a moment. We can extract the extension of the file, which is great. I don't understand why FileMaker didn't didn't do or what's the name or a function for that. But to get the the the, the extension, right? This is how we do. Okay. Right. So it's calculation that we need to do that, right? So. We get the container, the field, right? We extract the field name. So I'm doing this because sometimes I'm copying this file extension and I don't have the file name. So I, I don't want to, to rely on the file. I could have relied on the file name, by the way, but you know, I prefer to re to recalculate the file name because that doesn't make any difference in, in terms of X performance. So I, I'm I'm pointing to the container and put file attribute I want, which is file name, the attribute, you know, container attribute. I'm getting the container attributes based on the field, based on the attribute name, right? And I'm counting uh, the, the dots, you know, I'm pointing to the dots. So I'm, I'm pointing on the, the dots on this, uh, on this field, on this file. So let's copy this, go to the data viewer and that let's this decipher this, you know, let's dissect this. Okay. So I know. Doc. Okay. okay. So how we work, how this work. So we get the field. Okay. This field here. We get the attribute name. Oh, by the way. Yeah, by the way. Uh, this is why we cannot rely Right, we cannot rely on the name of the of the of the container. You know, sometimes people were getting the name of the file just by pointing to the container, right? So that was in the past, because now we have much more information. We have remote entitled JPEG, we have a size, we have JPEG. Okay, so we have all this information here, right? In when we get the the, the file name, right? So when we get when we point directly to the to the container, so that's why our we need to we need to use the container attributes to extract the name. Okay, this is the name of the of the of the what's the name? This is the name of the file. Right? So then I'm counting the occurrence of you know of the dots. Okay, so I have an occurrence, how many occurrences I have on the dots, right? And I want the start position of the dots, right? So the dot is in the text, the dot, which, you know, like blah, 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 dot, you know, untitled dot JPEG, right? The dot is on the position nine, number nine, right? So on the text, on my text here, the dot is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, including the dots, right? Nine. So the start position is nine, right? 
and the end position is 12. The end position is how many characters I have on the full name, including the extension. So why we do this? Because we cannot rely on, on uh, three characters. Because sometimes you have four characters. Sometimes you have five characters. Sometimes you have much more than this, right? Uh, you don't know how many characters the extension will be. You know, for example, you have XLS for Excel. And you have XLXX, right, for the new version of Excel. You have DOE doc for words, word documents, but you have doc X. So sometimes it's four, sometimes it's three. So you do, you cannot say, oh, you know the the good old way, you know the good old way, uh, the rights uh, on the on the on the on the name, right, and take three characters. We cannot do that because if you have a JPEG or GP, uh, you know JPEG with the E. It's four. It's not three. So how do you do that, right? So that's why we use that technique. We 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 define where the start point, where the starting point is. We said how many characters I have completely on my name. You know, the entitled .jpg is twelve characters. And then and now I say, okay, I want my extension is three characters because I say. The the end, so 12 minus the start, which is 9, right? So 12 minus 9, 3. And now I can use the right technique that I just mentioned, right? Because it's right will be take the text and the number of characters, right? And that will be the extension, right? So that's how we do this, right? And when you do... When you build this like a, a let statement like this, we you sh you see everything, right? You you can you can uh, you see all the progression, right? Uh, the occurrence of the dots, because sometimes you can have multiple dots. So that's why start and okay. So we are, we have all those things, so that to get the G, the extension, right? So now I want to get into this MD5 stuff here. What the MD5, you know? So let's go to the Pharmaco help and uh, let's let's see what they say about the MD5. You know, it's a cryptographic function. So when you have two, you know, when you have a photo, automatically, uh, we we can go online and see you know uh, MD5 uh, MD5 crypto uh, crypto MD5 crypto we can do okay so you can you can read about this so it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a number right it's a like a ID that comes right uh, out of a document uh, out of a picture. We generate a, like a number like this, like an ID, okay? And that number, right? If I if I copy that that photo, exactly the same photo, you know, I have the same photo, the same photo. Create a new record and I paste it, right? Okay. This the same as the same. If I would be saying, if I copy another photo, like this one, copy. This photo will have another MD5. This is the MD5 for that photo, right? And if I create a new record and paste it again, the same photo, right? I have an MD5. That is it. So that works for every type of documents. Demonstration, if I have, for example, uh, here, let's copy that PDF, right? And I'm, and I'm pasting a PDF here. 
that PDF will have MD5. And I can copy again, based again, the same document, it will be the same MD5 for that, doc for that document until you open it, modify it, and save it, the MD5 will be the same. Right? So why this is good? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let's find the, you know, uh, if, I, if, I, if I want to, I want to know if I have duplicates. Right? I want to know. I want to know which one is duplicated. Right? So this is how you do the duplication. Okay, so showing this uh, for the duplication of of uh, um, documents, because we cannot rely on names, we cannot rely on on anything. Even if I rename the even if I rename it, the MD5 will be the same. Okay, the MD5 is something that the it's an algorithm that will analyze the content of the documents, comes out, come out with with a code with an ID for that document based on what inside the documents, right? So, so how we handle duplication, you know, because this is important. When you have a document management, you want to know the duplication, right? So look like, like here, right? So I have a, you know, if I, if I go, uh, not here, but if I go there, I have 79,000 records, right? And I want to, I want to know the duplication, right? So I'm, I'm looking for the duplication, right? So and automatic boom, those are my ninety-four duplication, duplicated. They are duplication, for sure. Why? Because the MD five is the same, right? So how we do, how we detect those duplication, right? First, now I need to build my world based on the documents table. So let's build the world. No. Documents. So that will be I for the documents, right? Now I have a world for my documents. So it's an anchor buoys, right? And I'm going to create a relationship, right? 12A that goes to the document table. Oops. Hold on. Why is it? Okay. So it goes to the, it's 12. It goes to the documents, documents. It points to itself based on the MD5. And this is a self, you know, and it's for the duplication, duplicates. Duplicate. Oh. And it goes to the document. So, it's a relationship that goes from document to document. So it points to itself, right? Point to itself. But now that I have this, I'm, re I'm making a relationship between the file MD5 to the file MD5, okay? So that relationship goes from document to document by the MD5. Now that I have this, right, I can build a tag with a Boolean answer, right? And say duplicate. Okay? It's a Boolean. And what this is, okay? What this is, it's get as Boolean, right? So I'm going to get an answer as Boolean. And I'm positioning myself on the T12. I'm going to the T12A and I'm, I'm checking if I have another MD5, right? If I have another MD5 in the relationship. That means if I have two 
times the same MD5, it will come as a duplication. Okay. Of course, I forgot something in my relationship. I need to ignore my relationship. I need to ignore the ID document I am in because otherwise it will, it will count itself as a duplication and we don't want that. We want to know if I have another document different than the one I'm in with the same MD5 number that I will identify myself as a duplication, right? I'm going to explain that better, but I want to demonstrate that how it works. So now, for the tag duplication, right, right. I have the get as boolean, and I want to know if that relationship returns something. That is how you do, you know, you say get as boolean if you have something on the other side of that uh, relationship, it will say yes, no. You know, it will say zero, right? So demonstration, okay? Demonstration. Yeah, validate. Okay. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete all my duplications. Delete. I'm going to get one okay, of each, right? And now here, I am going to put here my tag duplication, right? Let's put the label. Okay. So, but I can I can delete all the, uh, you know, I will delete the, I'm delete I'm, I'm deleting all I have, uh, not this one so deleting this I'm going to copy this and delete this so when I create a new record right he said duplicate zero why because he didn't find anything I'm passing this G, uh, PDF in inside this okay and it's still saying duplicate zero. Now, I'm creating a new record, right? And I'm pasting this again. Bam. Duplicated. So, this technique has the advantage of telling you which one is duplicated. The zero, it's the original. It's the first file you put there. It's not a duplication. but Every time you're going to put it again, right? It will be this. It, it will be defined as a duplication. New record duplication. Now let's copy a photo here. I create a new record, and I paste this photo. So far, so good. It's not a duplication. It's the first time I put it. If I create a new record and I put it again, this one will be this def defined as a duplication because it's already there, right? I can do it again with another photo, right? This one is beautiful. Okay, new record. I'm pasting that photo. No problem, it's not a duplication. It's the first time I paste it. I create it again, I'm putting it again. Boom, it will be a duplication. So now, with that system, right, the beauty of it is, okay, uh, get rid of the duplication. No problem. You get there, you save one on the duplicate, tag duplication. You have five duplication out of eight, and you can safely delete all the duplication, right? You delete all those duplicated records, and you get the free original. Because... With that technique, only the new the when you get when you put it again, the file the same file, only the new one, only the duplication will be tagged as duplicated. 
So far, I know you guys, you use all the technique where everything is stack duplicated. And then you have to manually say, oh, the first one I want to keep, the second one I want to delete, the first one I want to keep, the second one I want to delete. This is a piece of paper. So if we have an uh, I prefer substitute for extension, write value, substitute document, file name. Yeah, you can do this if you want. Yeah, uh, label said, yeah, he has a, a, another technique. Be cool to do that. But it, it put a problem when you have a multiple. Uh, yeah, but yeah, this this will work. Uh, label. It's a it's a label has an, an, another way to do that. I can show uh, because I have a Discord here, so I can show. So label says prefer to use uh, substitute right value substitute the. The, it substitute the dot with this. So let's copy this and let's let's make it. Now it's interesting. Uh, it's a nice way, by the way. Uh, I like it. Uh, so you you so you right. So you you say okay, you have PNG. Why? Because uh, it gets it substitutes it gets this. Okay. So that's what it gets. So you he change all the you know all the what's the name uh, all the names you you re, remove the, the the dots by you substitute the dots by carriage return and then he said I want that right now it's a good technique it's a good technique it's elegant so uh, what else do we have here uh, in Mac terminal you write MD5 and the name of the file. Will give you the MD file. Yeah. In the email, if you're going to attach a sensitive file, good. If you write MD5 hash, the email we attach it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, the technique here is this I have no scripts. I have no perform fine uh, whatsoever. I'm using relationship. The trick here is to ignore the current record you in that means to do that you need to ignore the current id that means the the you create the first record right and you paste it if you don't do this you tag the first document as a duplication which it doesn't make any sense because the first is not a duplicate only the old one the a, a new one will be Another one, a duplication will be tagged as a duplication. So that means your original is uh, intact. That means you you don't you don't have a problem with the original because the original is not tagged as a, as a. This is this is how this works, and then you use the relationship to detect with the MD5. And you have to get as boolean that gets the duplication. Just you say, oh, do I have a do I have another document somewhere with that relationship? Yes. If you say yes, boom, you have the copy. Right. Uh, so no question out of this. Okay. Cool. Uh, we have one other comment. I like the extension calc. Current method is to substitute the period with a carriage return and use the write values function to get the last value. As I know, the extension is always on the end. Yes, no, it's a good technique. Um, it's it's more elegant than mine. Okay, so uh, it's a good, it's a very good technique. So I'm going to I'm going to borrow it. You know, I'm going to copy. It. So okay, so so the MD5, you understand that this is top-notch technique for the finding the duplication, right? Uh, as as they come, you know, and um, and and the tag uh, can make you build something like this, you know. Uh, you put a piece of text, uh, duplicate, okay, and uh, you can do, you know, uh, something like this, something like this, colors, put red, and 
white and one, two, three, five. So you can have this, right? And of course you get, and you said, not tag duplication, okay? When it's not, you hide it, right? So here, so now you can see this is not a duplication, but if I go and I paste the same picture or the same PDF copy, right? Boom, duplicate, red, boom. Because you have a tag and you can <clears throat> you can easily put a, something like, you know, to show you that you have a duplication. So this is cool. So now for the for the file size, you know, because this is bits give you, you know, the file size. So let's go to FileMaker again. File size in bytes. Okay. So that gives you in bytes. But bytes doesn't tell anything, right? So I wrote, thanks to the people, when I was at uh, Clarice Farmaker over there, so I went to an, engin an engineer and I said, okay, give me the, the true, uh, what's the name, our calculation to convert bytes into megabytes, kilobytes, no, uh, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, pentabytes, zettabytes, gamma bytes, whatever, right? So, um, so you go, you have a custom function here, right? Yeah, no, I'm I'm finishing the custom function file and I didn't get the time to finish it. But so and here I have the file size, uh the get file, what is the get size? Uh, I can't find it. Where's the size? Oh, bytes. Okay. This one I think. Okay. So this, right, it's to convert into, you know, into terabytes, right? So I'm not going more than this, right? So anyway, I don't think FileMaker will handle that very well. <laughs> you have a terabyte file in the, in the, in the, in the container, good luck with it. I, I, I wrote it, right? So this is the, the conversion, right, to get terabyte conversion to so you get bytes and you divide by this right and you round it and then you have gigabyte megabyte kilobyte okay okay so and here you have the case that you know to to get you the symbol so i'm getting you the symbol you know it's kb mb gb tb right so this you have this a custom function here and then i have bytes here the byte here is same for the entire so, so you have the container byte the container byte container size so you 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 use that custom function you point to the container and you have the size uh, but if you type bytes like this you have the size of your solution your file is 22 megabytes, right? The, and the entire files. So that I, I wrote it, you know. Uh, so you can you can monitor the size without to go to the server. You know, you, you know how many, how much, you know, how big your file is, right? Sometimes it can be interesting to know. So this is, so I explained this, uh, the most interesting uh, containers, um, container attributes. After that, you have all the, you know, uh, because here it's, it, it's, you have some uh, application here, right? So you have size, you have tension, and you have the type, right? Because sometimes uh, you can have, I don't know if I have a PDF somewhere here. No, those are photos. Uh, so uh, I don't know if I have a PDF somewhere here. Yeah, th those are photos. Uh, images, so this is a PNG, it's not a photo, it's an image, right? So FileMaker has a 
translation between image a PDF is an image, right? Is not a file. Sometimes we say file, sometimes it will say image, sometimes it will say photo. Photo is JPEG, TIFF, that photo. PNG are files, are images, and PDF as well, right? So it's good to have this differentiation. So you can have a field that that show you or uh, the you know shows you the the type of things is then you can search for your stuff, right? Uh don't know if I have a uh, files, yeah, here. I want all my photos, for example, or all my files. You know, I want all the files, right? So that is not PDF, not image. Uh, it's like uh, Excel or whatever, right? So that those are files. See, for example, this is a move, 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 move. Right? So it's a, this is how they name files. Uh, three times. Uh, it takes so H I C. says They are files, but they are they don't have any extension, I bet, or whatever. I don't know. Sometime, uh, but they are they are FileMaker. This is a file, you know. So that, that's cool. Um, so you can do searches like this, um, and you can do search on the size as well. You want to uh, get, you know, there. So. Something before we go, if you want to know the size of a, if you want to know the size of a font set, for example, right? So you go there and you do a total of, you know, and you do a total of uh, size, right? File size. Okay. So that is summary. And you point the summary. Oh, I have it. Yeah, the, I was surprised not having it, by the way. Uh, total of, where's the total? Okay, here, you know. So you have this summary, right? So you go there, and this found set of 5,000, it's this size. But now you want to convert this because it doesn't tell you anything, right? So you go to bytes, one of my other, because you, I, you can point to, uh, you can point to a container, or you have one you point to a or to a number, right? And that my number. So that thirteen dot thirty eight gigabyte. This is the size of your five thousand records, right? Because I have the size in bytes of each file that I have in the container, then FileMaker do do a summary on that number. So he do an addition an addition of this. And then I'm converting using that function. So if I do another, uh, if I do another, if I want to know how how much my duplicate, you know, what size of my duplicate, it's eleven megabytes, uh, one hundred eleven megabytes. Okay, the size of my ninety five, right? If I change this to the seventy nine thousand record, right? That will take some time because the summary. Uh, but you understand how that works. So you can have a, a, you can select, you can find search for records, right? And then you can know you know how much that weight, right? So now you understand the the advantage of getting one unique place for all your documents, right? So if we don't have any question, yeah, that, that would take some time. I do have a question. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. One from Stu. If a user yeah. re-uploads a new image slash doc of the first record, will the tag underscore duplicate be recalculated and flagged as a duplicate? No. The first will be non-duplicate, will be normal, zero. All the 
if you add another time the same document, that one, that the, the new one you just put, the, you know, will be tagged as a duplicate. And every one you're going to put them, you put two times, three times, four times, you know, that will be a duplicate. But the first, the original, is not a duplication. Why you want to tag it duplicate? It's not a duplicate. But I can receive it. So I can do something like that. Oh, the PT had launched this. Um, maybe I can just force quit this. but um, Because you can retrieve them if you want. So let's... Um, let me uh, do something. Let me pause this for now. I'm going to force quit this. Let me force quit this. A little. But this will take forever. Okay, force quit. So I'm going to show you how I'm how I'm handling this. Uh, so let's go there. So let me open the file again. But um, because you can, re you don't need to get as a duplicate. You want to tag the duplication. Uh, you want to, you don't want the original to be tagged as a duplicate. You you don't want that, right? Uh, you want to the the first to leave the because it's not a duplicate, you know. And the and the new one you want to make it duplicate, you know, because then you can like I demonstrated at the beginning, you can search for a duplication and delete them, and you know the original won't be touched, you know. So that's the beauty of this, you know. Otherwise, if you tag everything duplicate, including the original, how you do that? How you do? So you need to do a, a perform fine, ignoring the first. It's it's not it's not practical at all. Uh, you know. So yeah, it takes some time to. So I can resume this. Oh, I know why. Um, the client is running a big script. You know, he, he has some scripts that we, we work on. This, uh, you know, because I, on the other computer, I see that his console is running uh, like a piece of that is a big, big, uh, big, big script. So that's why everything's slow. But for example, if I take the, I want to search for the duplication. So I duplicate. So I'm searching for the duplication. So I'm going to look for the duplicate and show me the duplication. Okay. And then, you know, I want to see the duplication, right? I want to see duplicates. So show the duplicates, right? Show me. So here I have this showing. So the current I'm in is the one I tag duplicated, right? So it's a du the one I'm in, the current, is the duplication, right? The one I'm in. So I can go to that one, right? Normally I should have a button here, but I didn't. And because this one is does is not the one I want to delete. I want to delete this one, but it's okay. It's it's not something that I'm I, I finished. But when you click here, I I, I want to have one that we have if we have many. Um, so you understand. So you can you can because you have the MD5, so you can say go to Red Record MD5 and show all of them, uh, the original and the duplication, right? So you you can build something like this, right? So, um, so we but all, everything is based on the MD5, uh, you know, information, you know, field MD5 field. So this is how you handle the duplication when you have a lot of documents, right? You can do this because when you, when you insert like five thousand documents, right? When you insert one document at a time, that's okay, right? But when you have five thousand or six documents, and at all the to keep the original, all your like same MD five have duplicates. You want to keep the original alone and tag only the, the duplication as duplicate. Then you can say, okay, import 6,000 records, 6,000 files, and delete all the duplication. And but keep the original, keep the first one, right? You understand? If you tag everything, you delete everything. So here is done the same here, right? So okay, I think. Uh, not a duplication to be saved. 
I will get a trigger when committing the record to show the custom dialog setting. Yeah, but yeah, you can do that. But you can, you know, yeah. Yeah, you can do uh, a, a trigger when committing, but I don't like trigger on committing. The record to show a custom dialog stating this is the duplicate. Yeah, but the best, the best is to keep the thing going, right? Show like this, that this means duplication, right? The plus here, that means duplication. So you have a tag saying, so you know, oh, that's a duplication. Okay, so, okay. So you can go there, right? Like I just did. You search for your duplication, right? And then you say delete all, right? Because those are duplication. And the original is not tagged as duplication. Like for example, here, let's search for that MD5, okay? I will find two records for that MD5, right? So that, okay, I have two. One, one is not a duplication. Oh, why? Uh, why I cannot do this? What happened here? One is not a duplication. It's not a duplicate. This one is. Because this one was the first inserted, right? And then we insert this one. Uh, so this is a duplication. This is not, right? This is the first we insert, you know? This one is not the one inserted again afterwards. So the duplicating, the duplicated is not the first. So you don't need a, a custom dialogue, you know? Just delete you delete your duplication. That's it, just delete because you have the original, right? You don't need the dialogue and the script and stuff. No, we don't need. When you insert a duplication, right? You can just say, okay, uh, you know, uh, Delete them, you know, search for duplication, delete. But because imagine when you have an on commit, on commit, I don't put anything that will slow me down, you know, uh, because that slow down, that slow down, right? Uh, on commits, uh, don't put stuff like this on commit. And, and, and the big advantage of all of this, okay, the big advantage is this. You have a PSOS that say, okay, go on the document table, search for all the duplication and delete them on server. On server, you do that. So that will be 10 times faster because it, it depends. You know, here I have eight, almost 80,000 records, right? And sometimes uh, this is pretty much, this is pretty clean on that table to have only 90, 94 duplication. Sometimes we have 2,000 or 3,000. If you want to delete 3,000 records on clients, that can take five minutes, right? Do that on the piece of say, okay. So you don't, you don't want something complicated or a perform fine with an ignoring the first record and the delete the second one with a loop. <laughs> no. If the, if the original, when you have a duplication, right, and the original is not tagged as duplication, that's what you want. You want to delete the duplication. Okay, so I think I made my, I made my case here. So we can land the boat, land the plane, whatever. I'm in an island, so I have boats here. We don't have planes. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, Nick. Yeah, so with Ken, I, I bet. Yes, uh, Ken yeah. should be here tomorrow, so we'll be good. Okay, okay. See Everyone you tomorrow. have a good one. Bye. Bye-bye.
Yeah. Got a report of an individual up here who uh, may be a FileMaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir. Oh, 